Okay. Hello and good day everyone. No. So today we will discuss about the inscribed angle theory. Okay. What is an inscribed angle? Inscribed angle is one whose vertex is on the circle and whose sides are the chords of the circle. So ito yung angles na formed by two chords inside the circle, no? Example this one, no? Okay. Here we have chord MN and chord NQ, no? And then yung pinaka vertex niya is yung point N. Okay? So here, angle M and Q is the inscribed angle of circle O. Okay? So, yan ang inscribed angle formed by two chords. Okay? Now, we have the three cases for, for uh, inscribed angle. No? So, una, ito. Okay? Sa so, first case natin, no, as you can see, yung isang chord natin is a diameter. No? So, dinadaanan niya yung center point natin. And then, the other one no, is uh, merely a chord lang. Okay? So, center on one side of the inscribed angle. Okay? And then, the other case, ito. No? So, two chords siya na na-form sa loob ng circle. Okay? Pero, none of these chords no, are uh, uh, is, a, is a diameter. No? So, hindi sila diameter unlike this one. No? Isang chord is diameter. Dito, both chords are not diameter. Okay? So, center in the interior of the inscribed angle. No, yung center point nasa interior mismo ng inscribed angle. Then, the other one, ang third case natin is also this one. Okay? So, parehas ding chords yung sides ng angle, pero yung center point natin is outside the inscribed angle. Okay? So, those are the three cases or three types of inscribed angles. Okay, now, inscribed angle theorem naman, it states that the measure of an inscribed angle is one half the measure of its intercepted arc and central angle. Okay? So way back doon sa sa intercepted arc at saka sa central angle, no? Yung angle measure ng inscribed angle is one half lang, no compare doon sa intercepted intercepted arc niya o kaya sa sa central angle. Example is, no, itong figure. Okay, itong center A, no? I mean a uh, circle A, no? meron tayong chord na CB and BD. Or so let us say, inscribe angle CBD. Now, if measure angle CBD, to mismo, yung angle, yung inscribe angle is 48 degrees, what is the measure of arc CD? Okay? So yung arc CD natin dito will serve as the intercepted arc of angle CBD. Okay? Now, using this uh, theorem, no, measure of angle CBD is equal to half of its intercepted arc. Okay? So, dito one half the measure of its intercepted arc and central angle. But since intercepted arc lang given, no? so ito na, one half times measure of arc CD. Now, if your measure of angle CBD is 48 degrees, no? multiply it by 2. So, multiply natin 2 dito sa 48. No? 48 times 2 is equal to 96. So, your measure of arc CD is 96. Okay? Meaning to say, mas malaki yung angle measure, I mean yung degree measure ni arc no, or yung intercepted arc compared dito sa inscribed angle. Kasi kalahati lang si kalahati lang si CBD ni CD, arc CD. Okay? Another one. About this one, no? If measure of arc CD naman is 89 degrees, what is the measure of angle CBD? So this time naman, no, ang given naman na no, gamit tong uh, figure, ang given naman no, is yung intercepted arc mismo. No, ang hanapin naman natin is yung inscribed angle niya. Now, using this formula again, no, measure of angle CBD is equal to one half of, of, measure, of uh, measure of arc CD. Okay? Now, substitute your CD to 89. So, one half times 89, that would be equal to 44.5 degrees for your measure of angle CBD. Okay? Another example. Here, if measure of angle CAD is equal to 102. Saan yung CAD natin? Ito. CAD. As you can see, yung vertex ng CAD is at a center point. Meaning to say, central angle siya. No? What is the measure of angle CBD? Okay. Now, again, okay, sabi doon sa inscribed angle theorem, no? the measure of inscribed angle is one half to the measure of its central angle and intercepted arc. So this time naman, wala tayong intercepted arc. Okay, pero measure of, I mean, central angle ang given. Now, 
mangyayari, no? Formula natin, measure of angle CBD is equal to one half of measure of angle CAD. Okay? Ito yung inscribe ang angle, ito naman yung central angle. No? Substitute your CAD to 102, then one half times 102, that would be equal to 51 degrees for your measure of angle CBD. Okay? Now, another one, no? If measure of angle CBD, again, to inscribe angle CBD is equal to 96 degrees and measure of arc CD is 3x plus 6 degrees, what is measure of arc CD? Okay? So, ito na, no? May, may ano tayo dito, may, uh, may uh, variable tayo na ginamit. Now, again, using this formula, no, madali lang naman yan, okay, gamitin lang natin itong formula. Now, substitute your CBD to 96 Okay, equal to 1 half times your CD to 3x plus 6. Then multiply 96 to 2. So 96 times 2, that would be equal to 192 equal to 3x plus 6. Tanggalin muna natin yung degrees kasi nga, mahanapin muna natin yung value ni x. No? Remove na, muna natin and then transpose 6 to the other side. So 192 minus 6 is equal to 3x. No? 192 minus 6 is equal to 186. No? Then divide both sides by 3. 186 divided by 3. That would be equal to 62. Okay, cancel this out. Then your x is 62. So nakuha na natin yung x. And then substitute, substitute natin siya dito sa, sa value ng uh, measure of arc CD. No? Substitute your x to, 3, to, to 62. No? 3 times 62. That would be equal to 186 plus 6 is equal to 192 degrees for your measure of arc CD. Okay? Uh, the fifth one. No? Here, if measure of arc CD is equal to 3x plus 25 degrees and measure of angle CBD is x plus 7 degrees, what is measure of angle CBD, measure of arc CD, and measure of angle CAD? Okay, yan, no? This time, no? Ang given, intercepted arc CD, and then inscribed angle CBD. Ang hahanapin mismo, yung CBD ulit, yung intercepted arc CD, and then yung central angle CAD. Now, how do we find it? Again, by using the, the inscribed angle theorem. Okay, your C measure of angle CBD is equal to one half of measure of arc CD. Substitute your CBD. Now, your CBD is X plus 7 degrees equal to one half times your measure of arc CD is 3x minus 25 degrees. Now, para matanggal itong 2 na denominator, multiply natin siya dito sa left side of the equation. No? So, magiging 2 times x plus 7 is equal to 3x minus 25. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 7 is 14. No? And then, remove natin yung degree signs so that we can find the value of x. Kasi yun naman ang uh, unang gagawin natin, find the value of x para manap natin yung mga degree measures na ito. Okay? Now, transpose 3x to the other side, then we have 2x minus 3x. Transpose 14 to the other side, then we have equal to negative 25 minus 14. 2x minus 3x is negative x. No? Negative 2 minus 14 is negative 39. Then, multiply both sides by negative 1 to make it positive. No? So here, we have negative 1 times negative x is x. Negative 39 times negative 1 is 39. So your x here is 39. Now, nakuha na natin si x, no? x natin is x equal to 39. Now, unahin natin si measure of angle CBD. Si CBD natin is equal to x plus 7. Substitute your x to 39. We have 39 plus 7. That would be equal to 46 degrees. Okay, and then for your measure of arc CD naman, which is equal to 3x minus 25, substitute your x to 39. We have 3 times 39. That would be equal to 117 minus 25 is equal to 92 degrees for your measure of arc CD. Okay, what about your measure of angle CAD or the central angle CAD? Again, na way back doon sa central central angle intercepted arc theorem okay intercepted arc is equal to its central angle or vice versa 
Now, if your mesh of arc CD is equal to 92, therefore, your mesh of angle CAD is also 92 degrees. Okay? Exercise tayo. No? What is measure of angle NMQ? I mean, wala, malihing question. Okay? If Okay, so based on this figure, no, if your measure of angle NMQ is 68 degrees, what is measure of arc NQ or yung intercepted arc niya? Okay, again, using the inscribed angle theorem, no, measure of angle NMQ is equal to one half times measure of arc NQ. NMQ is 68, no, 68 times 2. Okay, automatic yan, multiply natin by 2 kapag ito lang yung may given. Okay, so 68 times 2 is equal to 136 degrees for your measure of arc NQ. Okay? Next, what is measure of angle NLQ? Wait, wait, wait. Mali yung question eh. If If measure of angle NLQ is 154 degrees, what is measure of angle? NMQ. Okay. No? If measure of angle NLQ is equal to 154 degrees, what is measure of angle NMQ? Okay. So given, no? is yung central angle NLQ, no? Ang hahanapin NMQ, which is the inscribed angle. Now, again, using this formula, no? The intercepted, I mean the inscribed angle theorem, no? Your measure of angle NMQ is unknown pa, but your measure of angle NLQ is equal to 154 degrees. So one half times 154 or 154 divided by 2 that would be equal to 77 degrees for your measure of angle NMQ. Okay? Next, number three. What is... Yung mga what is to? Okay, if measure of arc NQ is equal to 3x minus 16 degrees and measure of angle NMQ is x plus 12 degrees, what is x? Okay, so given natin si arc NQ at saka si angle NMQ. No? So NMQ is an inscribed angle, so apply natin yung inscribed angle theorem. Now, your measure of arc angle NMQ is x plus 12 degrees. And your measure of arc NQ is 3x minus 16. Now, again, multiply natin yung 2 dito sa left side. Magiging 2 times x plus 12 equal to 3x minus 16. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 12 is 24. Remove natin yung degree signs so that we can find the value of x. Then transpose no? 3x to the other side. We have 2x minus 3x equal to negative 16. Transpose 24 to the other side. We have negative 24. And then 2x minus 3x is negative x equal to negative 16 minus 24 is negative 40. Then multiply both sides by negative 1. No? Negative 1 times negative x is x. Then negative 40 times negative 1 is 40. So your x here is 40. Okay? So what about your NQ and NMQ? That is the, your ano, seat work na. Okay? Seat work na yon. Okay? So that's it. Okay, thank you for listening and again, do not forget to answer your exercises. Okay, that's all. Goodbye and God bless.